hey guys what is up my name is rahul and i'm back again with another video walkthrough so today this is going to be a video write up about a few challenges in the login series of the internet category so let's look at the first challenge it says my buddy is trying to become a web developer he has made this login page little login page can you get the password so let's open it up in the next tab let's look at the source code to get some of the information that could help us okay so there are two fields username and password and a simple login button it says please login username with an id of the username password with an id of the password and login button and on click it calls a function called verify verifies up at the top it says function verify password get document by id okay so what this seems to be doing is getting the element with the name of the id equal to the password it seems to be getting its value and storing it in the field called password and if the password is this value it will alert password verified so this is our flag for the challenge let's check yeah it is it says password verified let's look at the next challenge it says cool you found the first password he secured it more could you try again so i've opened it up in the new tab again looking up for the source code so this time what he has done is he's got the same value that the user gives in the password field and store it in the variable called password and he has allocated a variable by the name of split and given it a value of six so let's see what this does password dot substring zero comma split equal to fiscal okay so let's check what substring does okay the substring method extracts the characters from a string between two specified indices and returns the new substring so password is equal to if i define it as asdf123 1234 and if i use password dot substring 1 comma 3 so what this is going to return is a part of the string that begins at 1 and ends at the end index which is 3 minus 1 so it is going to return the characters at the first and the second index as a result so here it is s comma d and so what this seems to be doing is it is taking the password input by the user it is using substring on it so if the characters in the password from the zeroth up till the split index is briskel it is going to execute the next if statement followed by the next one but the only difference here is that they are not in the sequential order they it has been jumbled up to make it a bit difficult for us so this is called javascript obfuscation though not a really good obfuscation in this case so let's try it out so our first part would be briskle and from split from zero to split so from what we are going to be looking at is from split up till split cross two which is here ctfst The next thing is going to be split into two up till three, which is this. And from three to four, which is this. From four to five, which is script. From five to six. From 6 to 7 are these numbers from 7 to 8 this number until the curly bracket so let's check if this is our flag okay so this is the password password has been verified let's look at the next challenge in the series login 3 okay nice you find the password you found another one he changed it a bit again could you try again looking at the source code again okay so this time the function verify has been altered a bit this time it is not only getting the password but the username as well so it is using get element by id to fetch the value of the field that has been supplied by the user in the username field and it is going to be stored in the username variable same for password and there's a function read text file an argument is being supplied which is which appears to be a file 
and the output of the file is going to be checked against the username variable same goes for this so let's look at the read text file function so it is your function read text file it is accepting a file path and looking at the function calls new xml http request so it is making a get request to the file path and fetching the contents in the result variable and then returning the result to the function that called it which is over here okay so what this seems to be doing is it is sending the password.txt file name and this read text file seems to be making a get request to this supplied file path and fetching the contents and comparing it against the password variable so what we can do here is specify the name of the file in the url itself and get the contents and if there is no password protection like the one provided by hta access we can actually get the contents out of it here it is viscal ctf not even close to secure so this is the flag for the challenge let's try next one login 4 okay wow another one you could so i told my buddy how you managed to get the password last time and he fixed it could you check again please super soft okay let's look looking at the source code again same username password but this time there's one difference that instead of just calling the username.txt file and making a get request to it it is using another function by the name of atop so let's google it okay what atop does is atop method decodes the base64 encoded string so what we can expect is this time our password.txt file and the username.txt file will be base64 encoded so and we'll have to manually decode it so this is it let's decode it in our terminal itself go using base64 tag d so this is it Driscoll ctf even base64 won't make you secure true so okay guys this is it for the video i hope you liked it if you did like it please like the video and subscribe to my channel it really motivates me to make more of these thank you